Alright, your host, Sushi, for this Kyrie Chapel channel. We are in Hosea chapter 12 this morning. Let's go ahead and ask the Lord to bless us before we start the readings here. Dear God in heaven, we know that <clears throat> no matter what happens in this earth, this little earth that we live in, it's a little golf ball compared to where you're at, Lord. <laughs> you are in control. You know, the devil thinks he's in control. Even though the, the, the enemy, Satan, our arch enemy, who's out there uh, to ruin everything that we, that we create and make, he's out there to destroy, because he is the, he is the, uh, it says in your word, Lord, that he is the, the, uh, the liar, the murderer, the manipulator from the beginning, the thief, the coward, the um the um the division, the, the divider, he's all of that. However, you are the uniter, you are the, the God of the universe and you see us down here on earth because we are we're just like little ants going about our business. <laughs> and uh but you're up there, Lord, still and uh you're here to uh comfort us all who take upon your cross. To, to watch over us and protect us and preserve us. I pray this for all the all the saints of God, whether it be at protect them, give them an extra layer of protection. They're being under attack. They're being demonized in the media. They're being censored. They're being muffled. All types of things, Lord. Uh, sensational attacks, microwave attacks, Lord. Um, the uh, the enemy is, is, you know, this is the last day. The enemy is doing what he can. I mean, his time is running out. So he's doing an onslaught. He's, he's unleashing an onslaught on the people of God. The, the, the Christians are being attacked. We, we see this. Uh, it, has, it has never happened like this before. It never happened that we would be under attack like this. But we are being, you know, in other, other nations, we have to. We have to go in caves to have church, which is sad. Some places like you know um, Nigeria or or China or you know um, even in uh, Saudi Arabia, there's a little percentage of Christians over there. Iraq, Iran, you know, Lord, the the list goes on. These countries, there's a little population of Christians, but the majority of the population, either communists or Muslims and or even Buddhists or and Hindus in India as well, they're persecuting Christians. This never happened before where Buddhists and Hindus are persecuting Christians. Looks like they're copying the Muslims in a sense to, uh, you know, eradicate us and to, uh, you know, um, they're, they're really, it's really getting to them the message of who you are, Lord. You are the Son of God. You are Yeshua. You are the real one. You are the one that rose from the dead. You died on, you died on Calvary, Calvary's cross, and you resurrected on the third day. We give homage. We give worship to your mighty name on this side. We recognize you are the Son of God. You are Yeshua. You are Christ Jesus, Lord, Kings of Kings, the Line of Judah. You are the one to come and save humanity. No others will. Other ones are below you. I pray this in your mighty name, Lord, majestically. Be with me as I read the scriptures this morning. Amen. Hosea chapter 12. We're using the King James this morning. Uh... I think we used, I don't know what we used last time, I forgot. <laughs> Anyhow, it's not important in the translation. As long as we get the, you know, the King James is the most, it's probably 100% accurate versus like the NIV, NLT, uh, you know, other books of the Bible, the Amplified, the Message, you know, um, NIV. So, you know, just... They're, they're probably like 81% accurate, 90%. You want the most accurate translation, don't you? I know I do. I mean, anyhow, 
it doesn't matter as long as you, you know, get the word of God in um somehow. Ephraim capacitates me about what lies in the house of Israel with deceit. But Judah